Fire Pro Wrestling on the PS4. Um, I really this out because they just did their first major update, which is the Fire Promoter mode. Think of it as a pseudo my GM kind of mode from the previous WWE SmackDown vs. Raw games. It's really cool. I'm really glad to see this being implemented because the later and the recent WWE games have really left this mode out and virtually untouched. So the core of this mode is to basically outlast other promotions. You can do it with 8, 16, and I think it's 24 promotions. I could be wrong there, but I know it's 8 and 16 for sure. Um, I'm, I only chose eight because, you know, I'm just jumping right on in here. Um, and you have to actually fill up those promotions. Now, you can randomly have the game generate, you know, wrestlers and promotions for you. Or you can um, download characters and wrestlers from the community creations thing, the Fire Pro Net. Um, I chose to do it that way because I wanted to keep some kind of level of realism. So I did my best to, you know, stat balance a lot of the wrestlers after downloading them try to update their attires very marginally because I'm not as skilled as the people on the community creations and I tried to put them in their respective uh, promotions so you know like the New Japan people are going to be in New Japan Raw Smackdown I know um, WWE is all one thing but for the sake of this video I split everyone apart and the core is to basically, like I said, just outlast the other promotions in a similar thing to like Monopoly. So you just want to end up, by the end of it, having all the top wrestlers signed to good contracts and basically just kind of take over the industry. So with that said, I chose All Elite Wrestling. Um, when you start off, you're only allowed to have six wrestlers because you have to upgrade your performance centers and gyms and things like that. And so I had to make a hard call. So um, my promotion's top or starting six wrestlers are as follows. Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, um, let me see, Hangman Adam Page, and Chris Jericho, I believe. Uh, Marty's a free agent, which kind of fits because I know he's still doing his ROH thing, so it kind of fits. Uh, but I can still sign him later. Just because he's not on my team at the start doesn't mean I can't get him later. Um, and you're all, you always start off at a disadvantage because you're, you're an upstart, and so you're always going against the big names. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and we're going to go ahead and jump into this. I'm really glad to see this go, you know, this mode being shown again. Congrats on establishing your new promotion. All right, let's make the magic happen. We got what it takes to pull ahead of the pack. The world is ours for the taking. First, we have to take this group of nobodies and turn them into somebodies. You saw something special when you signed them. Time to develop that potential. We're all counting on you, boss. Take us to the top. And so we're going to start the first month of January. Well, duh. Uh, the first month of the year and we're gonna see what we can do in the first year um, I'm not you can send the matches you know that you put on your card or watch them um, I usually sim them but for the sake of the video I might watch like maybe one out of four think of it maybe it's like a pay-per-view so um, one out of four cards I'll sim my job is to book events and boost the popularity of our promotion on the wrestler compete on the world stage cool let's start by setting up our first event Events are the lifeblood of the company, and fans will expect match styles that match our promotion style. Now that, from a little bit I dabbled in, that is an important part, but you can deviate from it. So you can have hardcore matches in your promotion if you're not a hardcore promotion. Um, just like you can have hardcore, you know, non-hardcore wrestlers, you know, in hardcore matches. The problem is, I, I think the um, wrestlers have a higher chance of getting injured because that is a thing you can get injured they can get fatigued and they can just flat out be unhappy so you gotta manage all that stuff when playing now as I said I only have six superstars available to in my promotion so um, you go over here to event and you have to invite people to come basically participate to fill up your match card um, from what people were telling me prior to checking this out if you have less than eight superstars on a card they get the fans get mad and you have an automatic penalty and so um, I believe your overall card rating will go down right from the start before anything even happens 
Now, I would love to just invite Tanahashi, but um, it, you have to build up relationships with the various promotions to invite their people at a reasonable cost. Like, as you see, Tanahashi is 43000 I think, to invite, is he? No, 345000 to invite. Now, I'm told if I get on good terms with New Japan, it, it, it can go down. Um, so, hopefully, we'll be seeing that. But to go around that, I'm going to invite, you know, Kip and Jimmy, see if they'll participate for me. Because, yeah, they're only two and 2,000 to, you know, come join. And, yep, they're going to be joining me. Uh, great. Now, wrestlers can cancel. It, it is realistic, though. So if you invite a bunch of people, they could say something like, this wrestler was unhappy with the match style. Or this wrestler had to take time off because of a family emergency or things like that. And they cannot appear and sabotage your whole show. Especially if you were banking a big match on them. Like maybe you were having them in a title match or something. That can bite you later. So um, it's always smart to put them in, you know, very strategic spots on your card. Maybe have them as the opener and not in a title match. Maybe have free agent against free agent. That way if one cancels, you know, you're, you're not too out of luck. But um, I've seen a lot of people get around that. You can save scum pretty badly in this game, like just completely save over it, uh, you know, and reload, you know, until they're not canceling. But I'm not going to do that today. Maybe off camera. Who knows? Um, oh, Pentagon. Can I get Penta? Yeah. All right. And repeatedly inviting them will lower their um, price to invite them for the future if, they're, if they enjoyed being on your show. And if you choose to sign them, um, it actually lowers the um, cost of signing them too. So, ah, uh, he's not interested in working with us. He didn't agree to our match style. All right, well, well let's see if Hideo will. Nope. All right, so the the free agents of New Japan aren't having, aren't having it, or the free agents of Japan aren't having it, I should say. Oh, I, yeah, I had to throw Stephen Amell in there because he makes appearances on wrestling, but he still didn't want to work with us. I'll have to probably sign him later though, because I mean he's gonna be making appearances in all elite, especially with Arrow ending. I would be very surprised if he didn't show up. Joey, come on, bad boy. All right. I'm trying to sign or not sign, invite people who aren't gonna cost a lot. Just in case, you know, like, oh, Kazarian was 10,000. I didn't realize I wasn't paying attention. Oh, uh, that's going to hurt. All right, so I got to make that money back. You pretty much operate in the red almost the entire first, um, the entire first year. Let me see, and who do I have?